2016. So in honor of my first video of 2016, I thought I would do one of my favorite videos ever to do. I love doing like DIY room decor videos. So hopefully you're putting away your holiday and Christmas stuff and redoing your room a little bit. I know after the holiday time, I just like to put away my Christmas tree and kind of like revamp or like do some new things to my room. I love these videos so much so if you guys do too, make sure to thumbs it up. If you're new here and you like this video and you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe. That way you'll just be notified every time I post a new video. But yeah, with that being said, if you guys want to see my DIY room decor and organization for 2016, then keep on watching. Enough sunshine. DIY we're making is probably my favorite and it's a super cute wall organizer. What you'll need for this is a wooden circle, I got mine from Michaels, paint, elastic, and some rope to hang it with. So I just got this idea from Pinterest so I'm kind of taking inspiration for my pattern and doing that but basically I'm just making a tribal pattern and alternating different colors. Then I just took some elastic so I was able to hang things from it and I think this is such a cute decor piece for your room and a great way to display pictures or polaroids and cute little things in your room and I think it's adorable. Next is a Sharpie tie-dye pillow. Super easy to make and all you need is a pillowcase, different colors of Sharpies to match your room and rubbing alcohol. So I just started by drawing on the pillowcase, kind of making a tie-dye pattern. on some rubbing alcohol and this is really going to make the colors all form and blend together and give it the tie-dye effect and I let that dry overnight before washing it and then you are finished and left with this amazing tie-dye pillow that was so easy to make and looks amazing. Hide away, hide away. making is some wall art and this is probably one of the most affordable DIYs ever. All you need is a piece of cardboard and colored paper. So I just cut out a round piece of cardboard and this is going to be the base and then I just took three different colors of cardstock paper and cut those into squares. After that you want to form the paper into cones and it's really easy to do if you just follow what I'm doing. I just made enough of those to fit on the piece of cardboard and then I took my second color and did the exact same thing and for the last color you're going to want to cut off an inch from the end. And this is really going to give the flower like effect to the DIY and you're left with this adorable flower wall art that was so easy to make and also extremely cheap to make and I think it looks so cute. As for other little quick tips, I like to get almost all my room decor stuff at Target. I love decorating my room with these cute little decorative boxes and they're great for storing hats or even like school or DIY supplies. And then I got these little buckets that are my favorite. They're from the Target dollar section and they're amazing for putting pencils or anything like that in and they look so cute in your room. The video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up I know I love doing DIY room decors and organization videos and let me know what videos you guys want to see for 2016 question today is what is your New Year's resolution mine is probably to drink more water let me know what yours is in the comments down below if you guys want to see what I'm doing day to day then don't forget to follow my Instagram and snapchat I'm always on those two things and replying back and talking to you guys and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and you like this video yeah I think that's it I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video I know what you did last summer Just like to me there's no other I know what you did last summer Tell me where you've been I 